saying there's a lid for every pot? Well, there's a buyer for every house. And today, I'm gonna show you a house in hopes that you are the buyer for this house. You're the lid for this particular pot. Today, I'm going to show you a single family house that's large, has five bedrooms and a nice big yard. And it needs some work. Your opportunity to build equity is here. I'm wondering if you're the right buyer for this house. The lid to its pot? As a point of reference, the median single family sold price here in 2023 in the greater Iowa City area is around 367,000. That's for any single family house. But if I dial it into houses with four or more bedrooms, that price jumps to about $438,000. This house, if it were in average condition, could probably sell for around 360,000 in this neighborhood. More if it had an updated kitchen. 3550 Vista Park Drive is priced at 300,000, well below its tax assessed value. I know what you're thinking. What's wrong with it, right? Well, this house is being sold as is. I am going to straight up tell you why, what I think you need to do to make the improvements that will make this house your home. I am here to get the house sold. I want a happy seller and I want satisfied buyers. Welcome to 3550 Vista Park Drive. This is a 1991 built five bedroom, three bath home with a ton of space. There's two family room spaces, three bathrooms, five bedrooms, and a ton of storage. Here in the family room, I really love this big window letting in all this natural light. And I think with some fresh paint, this space is gonna feel light and bright again. Plus, don't miss the dining room nook. If you want your kitchen to be a gathering space, a central hub, I think you'll love the space offered in this house. Now, the laminate countertops have been painted, so my guess is that at a minimum, you're gonna wanna replace them. This kitchen has multiple pantry closets, so it's built for business if you're cooking for a lot of people or just like to shop in bulk. Personally, I love an eating kitchen, and this one is big enough for a large table. Let's talk about the primary bedroom. It's got all the things that you want that are really hard to find at this price point. It's a spacious enough room. You can fit your king size bed in here and additional furniture. There's an ensuite bathroom with double sinks, a toilet in a water closet, which is a feature I love and I wish builders would do more often, a large walk-in closet and a laundry chute. We've got three bedrooms on the main floor and they are a split configuration, which means the secondary bedrooms are in a separate zone of the main floor than the primary bedroom, which is great in terms of privacy. Let's head downstairs. The lower level is a walkout. There's a wood burning fireplace and a huge family room. The pool table stays with the property. So it's easy to envision this being the place to hang out. There are two additional bedrooms, a full bathroom, a laundry room, and a ton of storage here in the lower level. The carpet down here, well, it's showing somewhere, so it might be on your list of things to update. Heading outside, we've got a large deck with stairs that lead down to the fenced-in backyard. That's already two big things that you're not going to necessarily find other places. You know, builders love to skip the stairs, which traps you up on the deck, and fencing is always an additional expense. There's a hot tub that stays with this property, and the seller tells me that it works, but it could use a new cover. You're right across the street from a park, a dog park, and walking trails. Now, the paint on the back side of the house has weathered, so you're probably gonna to want to address that, but the paint on the other side is doing all right. So what do you think? This house has so much potential. If you are a buyer looking for a house to build that equity in, especially if you are able to do some of the work, like paint, some new flooring, maybe some new light fixtures that are on trend, they don't have to be expensive, perhaps some work in the kitchen, I would love to show this house to you. Let me know.